With this video, we are going to show the functionality of the LabVIEW program that we have developed at the Instituto de Energía Solar in Madrid, Spain, to control the E4360A Solar Array Simulator for Magellan Technologies. Here we will see the fixed mode, IMM mode, and list mode options. As we can see, there are two exact set of controls on the top and at the bottom, meaning that we can work with two models, which is what the Array Simulator allows. Here for the example, we will only see one model, but the, the other model is exactly the same. In the fixed mode, it's as simple as setting the voltage and the current and pressing the set button. Once the curve is shown in the graph, it means that it is set in the solar array simulator. Pressing the on off button, we can enable the output. In the IMM mode, we must choose VOC, IOC, VM, and IM. When we press the set button, the solar array simulator will calculate the exponential equation and it will set it in the solar array simulator. Once the curve is shown in the graph, it means that it is set. If we press the on button, we will see the working point, which is the white dot on the graph, and we will see the working point values here in this box, as well as the maximum power point values and the power difference between them. We can also choose to save all of these values, choosing the period, of the period to save and the file path that we want to save it to. We added another functionality in this mode, which is the irradiance and temperature input. In this, with this function, we can input the standard test condition values given by the manufacturer of a model or of a generator here in this box, and the curve will be calculated as a function of the irradiance and the, temp and the cell temperature. So, leaving the same values as before, here we see that when we change irradiance and temperature and we press set, the curve automatically changes. Pressing on off again will enable the output. Here we have the list mode. This mode allows us to load a series of points from a text file and run all the curves. These are loaded into the simulator and the simulator will calculate all the IV curves at each time. This is a great advantage with respect to the old mode since before each point of the list had to be loaded manually and the list could not be saved for future use. It is easy to see that once the list increases and has a lot of values this means a great waste of time. For example Here we see an example of what will be a list of four curves with all the values and the time that we want each curve to be on. In this mode we also added the same functionality as before but now we can input a list of irradiance and temperature values so we can work with the standard test condition values and calculate our curves with respect to irradiance and temperature. Same as before, here we can see an example of a list of four curves with different irradiance and temperature. We can also choose to have the same time for all curves for simplicity with time manual or different time for each curve in the text file. We can also choose to run the list various times with the loop option. So let's see now an example of how we lost load a list of IV curves. We're going to load the list that we saw before. We see here that we have four curves and once the first curve is loaded into the graph it means that it is set in the solar array simulator. We're also going to choose to save the values and we will enable the output. We see the working point which is the white dot and right now the output is connected to a power optimizer which is the one in charge of finding the maximum power point. For example now we see that it is not doing it correctly and we have a power difference before we had a power difference of over 15 percent, now, now it is finding it correctly. So we can measure the efficiency of the MPVT algorithm. As one example of the various functions that we can do with the program. And once the curves finish, the program stops automatically. Turn off the save option. And we can now see an example of the save file. So we see that the values were saved every half a second and all the values that were saved are here. And this text file can be a very good use for future reference. Okay, so this is it for this mode and now we'll see the table mode.